Hello everyone, I'm Adam from the Doctor EU channel. Now, or Mummy on the Orient Express. Now, it's just finished like 10 minutes ago. I absolutely loved it. That was a brilliant episode. Like, I'm, I'm still thinking over just so many references, like the whole sort of Bond style, Peter Capaldi opening the Jelly Baby case, and oh, just the references. I can't name all of them, but they're so good. And sort of the villain. The foretold. That was really well done. The way it was a soldier and it was brilliant. Like, seriously, Moffat has been holding out this season and this episode was just the pinnacle of awesomeness this season. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And actually didn't hate Clara this episode. Like, she actually played a good character, or a good side of her character for a change. And you could really tell that. She has got that addiction to uh, to traveling in time and space, which is sort of what most of them have, but it's not going to last, apparently. But no, the foretold, that was such a genius idea. Like, an um, enemy that only one person who's about to die can see. It's sort of a really weird concept, but in the same time, genius. Uh, also, um, spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. I know some people in America haven't seen the episode and I'm sorry but I need to make this video because I'm probably going to sleep after this but no the episode was absolutely fantastic and Frank Skinner who played uh oh I can't remember what the end the genius engineer he he played a sort of such a likable character that I wouldn't have mind if he just stayed on as a companion he was that good and I really would be disappointed if Moffat didn't like bring him back because the way he's, he sort of synergized with Peter Capaldi's Doctor, it just it just felt sort of natural. Two geniuses in the room, one obviously more genius, and one sort of knows what he's t talking about to an extent. It's sort of like, it, it really worked. But no, it was a brilliant episode, and Fox is doing um, oh, the Queen song, Don't Stop Me Now, in sort of a slow-mo style. That, that was quite good. And the way it turned out to be the whole train was fake and it was actually a lab and Gus was evil. I, I I was a bit disappointed with no Missy in the episode. I mean, we had so many people dying that there was no Missy, you know, to, you know, no throwback to heaven. I mean, last time we saw her, she couldn't, she, I figured she couldn't have any more people in heaven. That's a spell all I gathered. I really, really didn't pay attention. I think that was the caretaker. But yeah, so many people dying in so many different ways. Why why couldn't one of them have gone to see Missy in heaven and the uh, whoever the comedian was in the caretaker? I knew I can't remember who he was, but I've seen his stuff. But nah, the 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 sort of villain was him. He was so good. I'm just gonna sit here and rant on about how amazing it was. Just the fact of the Doctor sort of taking over whatever faces uh, grief and everything so that he can be the one to see the mummy and work out the problem. It sort, of, it sort of felt really well done for a change. And it really, really showed off Capaldi in the best kind of way that really it should have done since the episode, well, since episode one. But uh, it was damn, damn good episode. If I had to raise it, it would be an A plus or a 12 out of 12. 13 out of 13 if you count John Hurt. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this here. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I will I will read all of them. Uh, this video is probably going to go up at about 11 UK time. So it uh, gives a bit of time for the American audience to watch it. And, well, everywhere else in the world. And uh, I'll see you next time.